let's talk a little bit about velocity and acceleration and the relationship between velocity and acceleration. Um, this is a really important topic, and actually this maybe deserves its own series of videos. Maybe I'll get the time to make a series of videos on that. I'm just going to go over this pretty quickly now, but I think it's important to review um, the relationship between velocity and acceleration. Um, what does the velocity tell you? Uh, well, one important thing the velocity tells you is it tells you which way you're going. The velocity tells you which way you're moving. So let's say this arrow or vector represents the velocity. So which way are we going? We're going to the right. Which way are we going now? We're going up. Which way are we going now? Um, well, maybe now it's best to say we're going northeast. This is pointing in a kind of northeast direction. So the velocity tells you which way you're going. So which way are we going here? We're going to the right. Which way are we going here? By the way, um, my goal in these videos is that every time I pose a problem, I'm hoping that you'll pause the video and think about the problem before you proceed. So I'm going to be shooting a whole bunch of questions at you now, and I hope that after every single question, you're pausing the video and giving it some thought before you proceed. All right, so again, um, what does this arrow mean? Which way is this object moving? Well, this is also moving to the right. If these are both moving to the right, what's the difference? Um, well, this one is moving about twice as fast as this one to the right. So the length of the arrow here is about twice as long. That means that here we're moving about twice as fast um, as for the first object. But both of these are moving to the right. Which way is this object moving? I hope maybe you paused the video and thought about that. This object's moving to the left. And it's moving at about the same speed as the second object. And the third object is moving at about twice the speed of the first object and in the opposite direction. OK, so one important thing the velocity tells you is which way you're going. And it also tells you your speed. All right, the velocity tells you which way you're going. Now, that probably is very intuitive and makes sense to you. But here's something that might not be intuitive. If the velocity tells you which way you're going, then the acceleration cannot tell you which way you're going. They can't both give you the same information. So if you agree with me that the velocity tells you which way you're going, you must accept that the acceleration does not tell you which way you're going. The acceleration does not tell you which way the object is moving. That's super important. I'm going to repeat it one more time. The acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're going. Because that's not the acceleration's job. Whose job is it? It's the velocity's job. So this is one of the hugest mistakes that people make throughout physics. Um, and one of the first marks that, um, one of the first marks of someone who's starting to get a little bit sophisticated about physics is somebody who understands that the acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. That's not the acceleration's job. That's the velocity's job. The velocity tells you which way you're moving. The acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. Which way is this object moving? I hope that you paused the video and gave that a shot. Uh, that was a trick question. We have no idea which way this is moving. The acceleration doesn't tell you which way an object is moving. If I tell you only the acceleration, that does not tell you which way the object is moving. You cannot assume that this object is moving to the right. Um, there's no reason to think that. This object could be moving left, or it could be moving up or down if we also were doing uh, two-dimensional motion. Which way is this object moving? We don't know. Acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. That's what the velocity does. Well, what good is the acceleration then? If it doesn't tell you which way you're moving, what does it tell you? The acceleration, well, um, in one dimensional motion, the acceleration tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. In one dimensional motion, which is what we're covering in these videos, the acceleration tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. I'll repeat that again. Make sure you have this in your notes. The acceleration tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down in one-dimensional motion. Um, and the velocity tells you which way you're going. All right, try to pause the video and write down everything you know about this object. I hope you paused the video and wrote down everything that you know about this object. 
First of all, what does this tell us? The velocity tells us which way the object is going. So the object is moving to the right. This object is moving to the right. And what's the acceleration tell us? Well, the acceleration is opposite to the velocity. That means the object is slowing down. The velocity tells you which way you're moving, and then the acceleration tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. So this object is slowing down. Remember I said that the acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're going. Well, now you can see I was right because the acceleration here is pointing to the left. But does, that, does that mean we're moving to the left? No, we're moving to the right. That came from the velocity. So this is a very simple example that shows the acceleration has nothing to do which way, which way you're moving. The acceleration doesn't care which way you're moving. The acceleration is about whether you're speeding up or slowing down. Let's try the same exercise. Please pause the video and write down everything you can figure out about this object. What the velocity tells us is moving right. Now notice here the acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity. I hope it's intuitive to you that that means that we're speeding up. So this object is moving to the right and speeding up. Um, now in this case, we're moving to the right and the acceleration is also to the right. But that's just a coincidence. Just because we're moving to the right doesn't mean the acceleration has to be to the right. Over here it was to the left. Um, the acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. It tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. All right, so it's important to compare these two cases. Okay, so now how do you use the acceleration? Notice that in a way, the acceleration is not very useful in a sense unless you know where the, what the velocity is. Um, because if the acceleration is pointing in the same direction as the velocity, you're speeding up. And if the acceleration is pointing opposite to the velocity, you're slowing down. That's how you use the acceleration to figure out whether you're speeding up or slowing down. The acceleration tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down, and it tells you that when you compare the acceleration to the velocity. Uh, hopefully this is kind of intuitive. If you're accelerating in the same direction as the velocity, that's acceleration. You're speeding up. If you're accelerating in the opposite to the direction to the velocity, you're what we might call decelerating. You're actually slowing down. It's actually probably not, not actually very good to use the word deceleration in physics. It can be confusing, but maybe just this once. Um, I think you can see this is more an example of deceleration than acceleration, so we're slowing down. Okay, so this is a very important example to have in your notes and think carefully about. The velocity told us which way we were going, and then we compare the acceleration with the velocity, and that tells us whether we're speeding up or slowing down. Pause the video and write down everything you can about this object. Please. The velocity tells us that we're moving left. And the acceleration tells us we're speeding up. Because the acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity. Pause the video and write down everything you can about this object. The velocity tells us that we're moving up. Or if you like, we might interpret that as north, whichever you like. Now the acceleration here is opposite to the velocity, so we're slowing down. Then we'll repeat the key lesson again. If the acceleration is pointing in the same direction as the velocity, we're speeding up. If the acceleration is pointing opposite to the velocity, we're slowing down. Make sure you have those ideas in your notes. Once again, you can see the acceleration does not tell you which way you're moving. This object is moving up, but it's accelerating down. There's no contradiction about that. What can we say about this object? I think it's best to use compass directions here. The velocity tells us that we're moving northeast. We're moving northeast. 
We could say we're accelerating southwest, but that doesn't really convey much information. Instead, we should focus on are we speeding up or slowing down? Well, the acceleration here is opposite to the velocity, so we're slowing down.